just welcome back to my channel today we're going to be playing unread again well we ain't playing it because it doesn't really take skill to play this game i'm just reading i'm just reading stuff off a of cell phone last time we were on here i told y'all my friends were trash my friends are trash they went out for my birthday we all went out we party we took shots all types of stuff and then i disappeared i just vanished out of thin air my friends was just like oh well about to go eat some bacon and see y'all in the morning like my friends did not care like they do not care at all so i i talked about that in the last video we just we i talked about that in the last video let's go ahead and see what's been going on now okay y'all Let's go ahead. I see something about the police, but I'm gonna keep on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and start from the bottom. We're gonna start from the bottom and go up to the top. So I got Amanda here. Um, don't remember who Amanda was at all. Oh, Amanda was the um the co-worker, right? Like she was trying, we were trying to get her to cover the ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Amanda said, hey, any chance of this? I really need to have it off. Remember, she asked me to cover some other shift for her, but I'm I'm disappeared, right? So I didn't answer. She said, hey, any chance of this? I really need to have it off. My aunt is coming down from Scotland and it's the only time she's free to meet up for lunch. Please let me know as soon as possible. And then I didn't respond. And so at 1220, she said, George just rang me. He said, you didn't turn up for your shift. Are you okay? Girl, no, I didn't disappear. Okay, this my mama. My mama said, Amy, did you not get my text, sis? I'm not sure if it sent correctly as I haven't heard from you. Amy, and then Later on, she said, Amy, your friend just called me and says you didn't come back after your night out. Please, can you ring me or your dad as soon as you get this to let us know you're okay. We both very worried about you. And, and then two hours later, I didn't respond. She said, Amy, can you please get in touch and let us know you're okay. The police are now involved. This is serious. You need to contact somebody. Mama, listen, my friends is trash. That's why I responded. Okay, this is Carrie. Carrie is my roommate, y'all. She's one of my friends, but she's my roommate. Amy, where the hell are you? <laughs> Girl, I'm gone. You get super, I'm getting super worried about you. I presume you made it home. I didn't hear you come in. Did you go home this weekend? I can't remember if you said you were going this weekend or not. Did I do something to annoy you? <laughs> Please text me or Lex or Craig. Just anyone to let us know you're okay i find it really strange you're not texting back sis don't be worried about me now y'all were worried last night y'all were not worried last night hey can you call me when you get this i'm freaking out please be okay amy i'm so worried about you this feels unreal we've even had to get the police involved I just, okay, and she said, I want my best friend back. Okay, y'all, so it's finally hitting home to my trash friends that I am, that I'm missing. There's something wrong with the situation. So I guess, I guess, okay. Um, here's Lexi. Okay, this was the night before, or this was my, the night of my birthday the, before I went missing. I had sent, I sent Lexi some pictures. Lexi was, is also part of my crew. This is her and Craig. She liked Craig, remember? Um, and she said, oh my God, I think Craig just totally saw you sent this to me. Okay, whatever. Okay, Lexi tried to check on me yesterday. And then, she, okay. God knows where you are, but you're worrying a lot of people. Listen, I, I'm trash. Like my friends are trash, y'all. I'm a, I'm a skip over that. Here go Kitty. I don't know who Kitty is. Oh, Kitty is my sister. Okay. Cause she said mom just rang and said you never made it home. So this got to be my sister, y'all. Okay. She said, hey, you're okay. I'm guessing you're pretty hungover. 
yada yada what the hell mom just rang and said you never made it home since you need to get in touch with one of us now i'm worried sick and feel so helpless being on the other side of the world okay y'all so everybody done found out i'm missing okay everybody done found out so let's go to this group chat where all my friends was trash so remember the night before the last video we had on this everybody was just like ah she'll turn up she had some she had some man house like they everybody was just downplaying it and that's why I said my friends were trash. Okay, so this is the next morning, and they said, and Craig said, morning, guys, any news? Jake said, I stayed over at Carrie's, and Amy hasn't showed up. So what's the plan? Okay, my friend's getting worried, y'all. Jake said, it's strange she hasn't replied to any of us. She hasn't tweeted or Instagrammed since the night out either. Nothing happened on the night out, did it? Like arguments or anything that would explain why she's ignoring us? Okay. Oh, hold on, y'all. Here goes some tea. Lexi said, not that I can remember. I remember dancing with your mate from work, Jake, after Kaz, Craig, and Amy had left. What was his name? He said, who? Lexi said, the guy I was dancing with. Jake said, oh, I can't remember. How drunk were you? Didn't she say it was somebody from work? You don't know his co-worker's name? Okay, whatever. All right. Uh, Car this is Carrie said. Carrie said, here's everything I remember. We had drinks at our flat for a few hours and then got a taxi to the club around half 10. Then once Jake finished his set at 12, he joined us and we carried on dancing. Craig left first around 1.45. Then me and Amy went outside for a smoke cigarette after around two i got chatting with some people and in the time she disappeared in that time she disappeared i presume to get ta a taxi home or food so when i got a cab home around 2 15 and when i got in her door was closed so craig said he getting worried jake said he getting worried too lexi said should we go to the police so carrie said let me text her mom first i just want to check to make sure she's not at home so Craig said, okay, let's hope she went home first thing. Y'all know I didn't go home. Y'all know I didn't go home, but okay. Carrie said, her mom just messaged me back. She's not at home either. Okay, something happened to her, guys. This is really unlike her. Did her mom ask why you were asking? Carrie said, yeah, I haven't told her yet, though. I didn't want to worry them. Y'all, okay. All right, nope. You know what? Let's just keep reading. Um, Lexi says she has a sister. Maybe she's at hers. No, Lexi, her sister Kitty lives in Australia. Then we have to call the police. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. It's it's too late, but thank you. Carrie said, uh, no, let me call her mom first and see what she says. Are you okay with doing that? Yeah, I, I don't want to do it, but it has to be done. I'll let you know what she says in about a half an hour. Carrie said, okay. So now, as you can imagine, she's worried sick. She's going to try and contact Amy, too. But she wants me to contact the police down here if she doesn't hear from her in about an hour or so. But she's freaking out. And rightfully so. That's my mama. She should be freaking out. Y'all should be freaking out because y'all my friends. Okay. Um. Carrie said, now I'm freaking out. They've still not heard from her either. So I'm going to ring the police and tell them. Okay, y'all. So they calling the cops. Craig, <laughs> Craig said, I told you we should have called the police earlier. Something's happened to her. I'm sure of it. Jake said, we don't know that, Craig. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's see what the police say first. Okay. Jake said, but basically they've opened a the case, but because 48 hours hasn't passed yet, they seemed optimistic. However, because it's out of character, they're going to do a few initial investigations. They want to check local hospitals to see if she's been admitted there's a chance that she was and hasn't been able to contact us. She might have fallen over or hurt herself because she was really drunk. Which, okay, all right. And they're going to send someone to M-Bar to see if they have access to the cameras outside the club. See if they can trace her steps. Okay. Lexi said, oh God, I totally didn't think about her hurting herself. She was pretty wasted. And y'all i said this in the last video but i need to reiterate if you go out with your friends and y'all get wasted wasted 
like, I mean, everybody having shots every five seconds. Make sure to hold, like, be accountable for your friends. Please be accountable for your friends. I, okay, all right. Um, Jake says she's just upset and shaken by it. Feels a lot more real now. Oh, Carrick said the police just called me. It's not good news. Okay, what happened? What happened? So, it's the it's the next next day. I think <laughs> this is episode three of what's been going on. Um. So let's see. Lexi said, Craig's so worried about you. I told you I wouldn't have a chance with him while you're, you were still around. And did, did Lexi do something to me? Did Lexi do something to me? Cause she liked Craig. She about, she didn't murk me because of some man. Okay. You know what? I need to go jump to conclusions. Let's just go ahead. Uh, Jake said, hey, Amy, your parents are worried sick about you, and so are we, carries in tears. Please just let someone know you're okay. I Okay, clearly I can't. Clearly I can't. I don't know where I am, but clearly I can't do that. Um, okay, so everybody is... Everybody's worried. Carrie said, night, Amy, wherever you are. And then she said, I literally can't sleep. Please let me know you're okay. Okay, and I'm still not messaging, so. Okay, so this is my personal trainer, y'all. Um, Aunt said, yo, Amy, you on your way. Don't tell me you forgot, huh? Or still in hangover hell. Let me know. I have a session for you at four today. If you wanted to do it, then. Wanted to do it then, if it had slipped your mind. Okay, and I ain't, I ain't coming to no workout. Okay, Amanda, my coworker, she said, I just seen the news on your Facebook. Where the hell are you? Are you okay? I'll let George know, but get in touch with someone. Sounds like everybody's worried sick about you. Girl, if I ain't responding to everybody else, why would I respond to my random coworker, girl? What you talking about? Okay, uh, here's George. George is my manager um george said hey you're late for your shift again are you nearby ring me when you get this this is the second time you've not shown up for your shift on time bro i'm missing amy amanda just told me the news really hope you're okay get in touch with someone soon to let us know you're safe okay no i won't do that um Okay, everybody is worried, y'all. So this my sister. This my mama. I'm so worried. I can't sleep. I'm still awake. I can't take this anymore. They put out a newspaper article. It's it's only been it's been what like two days. It's been two days. The police just rang. They found a body and they think it's you. If, if the cops think it's me, why you texting me then? You think I'm, if I'm dead, am I going to text back? Mama, what you talking about? Okay. Um, Mom said, please phone me or text anything. It can't be you. I can't let my daughter be taken away from me yet. It's not your time. This is, this is turning kind of dark, y'all. <laughs> this is, this is turning dark. The police just called me. It's not good news. There's nobody matching her description at any local hospitals. And Lexi said, that's not good news, right? It means she's not hurt. Carrie said, or it means she's hurt herself and it's still out there. So, okay, y'all, they didn't put, they didn't put it out in the blogs and stuff that, can I click on the article? Oh, I can click on the link. Hold on. Y'all, I can click on the link. Missing woman disappears after night out with friends. Y'all, they got a whole article. Oh, it's by Craig Winters. Ain't that my friend? <laughs> That's my friend. He, he a writer? Okay. All right. He, he write for the newspaper, I guess. Or maybe that ain't him. But I do got a friend named Craig, right? Okay. Um, 
Police are searching for a 25 year old woman. Okay, y'all, this is getting real. She is described as <laughs> she is described as white with a pale complexion. Okay, <laughs> all right. She was wearing a black dress and may also be wearing a leather jacket. She was last seen between the hours of 1:45 and 2:15, where she left M Bar in Brixton. We'll follow this story as it progress progresses. Not the M Bar. <laughs> Not the M Bar ad on the article. After somebody to disappear from the M Bar. All right, let's go back to the group chat, y'all. Uh, Lexi said, I can't believe this is happening, guys. I'm really worried about her. Who would have thought a night out would end up like this? This is my birthday, too, y'all. I can't believe this. Let's hope someone can share some information. Somebody know where she is. The question is who? Okay, so it's the next day, and Carrie says she ain't going to work today. Craig said he ain't going to work either all kind of different scenarios in his mind. Okay, so it's setting in, y'all. It's setting in that my friends, that I'm I'm missing, and my friends are finally, they finally worried, they finally thinking the worst for, for me. So Carrie says she gonna make some posters and stick them around in the area just in case anyone doesn't see the news, okay? Um, Is Jake helping you? No, he's gotta go to his parents today. And besides, I don't think I'll be great company, to be honest. I noticed that Lexi ain't... Oh, I was about to say, Lexi ain't, ain't texting in the group chat. What's going on? Carrie said the police are here. The police, what do they want? I don't know. So Carrie said they were looking through Amy's room. They wanted to see if there were clues as to where she might have gone. They looked through her wash bin. No signs of the clothes she wore from the night before, which means... It's likely she never did come home after the night out. They're asking me lots of questions about how happy she was and if there'd be any reason for her to run away. Um, is that what they think she's ran away? I don't know. They're just going over all the options. I really hope she turns up by tomorrow. It's her actual birthday then, isn't it? Oh, okay. So we went out for my birthday, but... The day we went out wasn't my actual birthday. I guess my birthday is on like a, a Wednesday or something. So we just went out the, the Saturday before. Um, what about the CCTV from the M bar? Did they say anything? Did they say they found anything on it? Nothing that shows where she went. It just backs up what I said though. Apparently you see her and me and her outside smoking. Then I start chatting to a randomer and she wanders off out of shot. They don't know where she went from then. They're trying to source surrounding CCTV, but that might take a couple of days. Okay, so Carrie getting the tea. Carrie getting the tea. She giving the tea from the cops. Okay, hold on. Check out my story. It's on the news. What's going on? Okay, this is the body, y'all. They found a body, remember? That's what my mama said. Um... This explains everything, why she's not been online, why she's not replying. Okay, they think I'm dead. They think I'm dead. I know, I knew something that happened to her. My gut was telling me, but it had, my gut was telling me it had, but I didn't want to believe it. It's the, okay. I think, okay, They. I think they found a body at the park is what's happening. Are you guys stupid? It's her. It's the park not far from your house, isn't it, kids? Yeah, it's a five-minute walk, literally around the corner. Okay. This is scary, but Jake's right through Craig. We can't just... Oh, this is scary, but Jake's right, though, Craig. <laughs> we can't jump to conclusions. Have you heard from her mom, kids? Two minutes. She's actually ringing me now. Okay, her parents are on the way down to London. Her mom rang me from the car. The police want to do an investigation. The police want them to do an identification. Y'all, I can't read today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, my mama is there. Okay, so my mama coming down. My parents coming down. Martin was the one that was like, you gonna regret yeah, see y'all, look. 
you'll regret sending me that. Martin probably did something to me, y'all. Martin probably did something. Okay, you know what? We gonna stop it. We gonna stop it right here. It's finally setting in that I've disappeared and my friends are finally worried about me now. And my mama coming down, the police then did a, an investigation and they done found a body. They done found a body. They don't know if it's me. They It might be me. It might be me because it's in the park by my house. And y'all remember, I think I went to a park because we saw that Uber receipt from last time. But I don't know, y'all. It's getting juicy. It's getting juicy. What we got to do is we going we gonna to end the video right here and then... We'll come back next time and I need to see what's going on. I'm I'm invested in this story now. I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.